I want to move on to health care. Several provisions in the Barack Obama health care bill are now in effect. Uh, will this affect the election? I'm thinking. Well, it depends on how the Democrats play it. If the Democrats start very quickly rallying behind the immediate successes, and if they can get some good pieces in, in the media about things that have happened because of those provisions, it may help them. At the same time, it's going to open the door to Republicans to criticize them. What are these provisions that are in place? Well, number one, insurance companies will no longer be permitted to exclude children because of pre-existing conditions. Insurers will also be prohibited from imposing lifetime limits on benefits. The law will forbid insurers to drop sick and costly customers if they made a technical mistake on their application. I mean, Lewis here uh, moved. If you had put your old address, moved, and then during that time, the, the piece of mail was delivered. Two years down the line, you have some serious care that you need. You could be refused payment because you were in a transition period. You moved after you filed the application. That's going out the door, hopefully. It also requires coverage to be offered to children under 26 on their parents' policies and a few other things. Uh, preventative procedures like colonos colonoscopies, mammograms, immunizations, they have to be covered without co-payments. These are not minor things. Now, mind you, I am aware Republicans are going to come out and use health care as a primary talking point as we get closer and closer to the election. This one is really where Democrats are the ones who need to use it to their advantage. Am I, am I right on this, Lewis? That is. But how, how are Republicans going to use this to their advantage? Are they going to try and reverse things? Here? I mean, what, what's the plan? That is not reasonable before no, no. the election, but re that's, that's what I'm saying. Republicans can continue the same old, it costs too much, it doesn't do enough type of thing. But what is now opened up to Democrats, this is something new that Democrats can do, is to start pointing to successes that happened from last Thursday or the day it was that these went into effect right. until the election. That is a specific thing Democrats can do. What will Republicans do? Say, no, those things didn't happen? Or say, look, these things don't actually work, or these things are too expensive, or these things will hurt our economy. This, if anything, this is one campaign tactic where the Democrats have everything to gain and at the same time everything to lose if they don't use these as, uh, as positives. We, we'll see how it comes out. We'll see if they can make the case that they are already getting positive uh, returns from some of these provisions. I want to take a break. Later on, we'll talk about Iran and Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. We'll talk about the Stuxnet worm. Jenk Uger on the show. Chris Manns, Don Rojas. Stay tuned. Thanks for being on the live stream. This is Midweek Politics with Dave Pakman. Midweek Politics is made possible in part by the Daily Hampshire Gazette and GazetteNet.com, connecting our communities with local news and information, by the National Priorities Project and Smith College Department of Government, hosting Congresswoman Donna Edwards on Sunday, October 3rd. More information at nationalpriorities.org. By DIF Design, specializing in custom business websites at difdesign.com. To find out more about underwriting Midweek Politics, visit midweekpolitics.com. 